So I have some ingredients that I'm going to show you real quick and then I'm going to start working on layering them. This pile here, like I said, I've been working on it for like three months. Today I will be working on making another compost pile. Part of my compost pile is going to be from the chicken coop compost. So this compost consists of grass that I have thrown, in, thrown into the coop over the past couple months. When I cut grass with my push mower, I just empty the bag in here. The chickens scratch through it. They've been scratching through it for a couple months now. I also throw anything uh, from the garden that is waste and uh, what the chickens don't actually eat that's left over like this root here and just different yard waste is brought into here the chickens have scratched through it over the past couple months so now I am just going through raking it up and also some of the chicken manure is going to be in there so I'll just take it and put it in this wheelbarrow and then I'll take it out to the area where I do my compost piles and I will also be cutting grass today and I will use my push mower. So I'll be adding this compost from the chicken coop. I'll be adding grass for my green and then I'll also be adding maybe some um, cardboard from the kitchen that like paper towel holders uh, that cardboard and then or you know it's paper products and I'll be adding my kitchen waste to the compost so I just wanted to show you this part like I said I will be shoveling it up over into the wheelbarrow and I will keep it separate until I start doing my layers for my new compost pile I have in that lawnmower right there some grass that I just cut in the bag and then in this wheelbarrow I have the compost that I gathered from the chicken coop which that compost consists of grass that I have thrown in the chicken coop over the past couple months it consists of chicken manure it also consists of any kind of yard waste that I have thrown in there any kind of waste that I have taken from my garden and just threw over into the chicken coop like the extra leaves that um, from the collard greens or the broccoli or the green romaine lettuce or any of the extra spinach I threw all that into my chickens and they did devour most of it but what they didn't devour ended up getting scratched up and it's in that wheelbarrow so it's pretty much dried out been scratched through over I would say at least, well, I started cutting grass probably in March. It started growing a little bit and then throwing stuff in there from yard waste. Those ingredients and then I have, and also toilet tissue rolls. So the paper towel rolls and the toilet tissue rolls. And then I have my compost from my kitchen, which is basically just scraps of well there's some eggshells there is some peelings from my cantaloupe there's coffee grounds and i think there's like maybe some of the green part of onions and probably some other onion products so i'm going to be adding this stuff in layers in the description below you will find a link for this kitchen compost bin before i start this is the compost pile that I have been working on over the past three months. It's probably about ready for me to put on an area that I'm going to be um, 
taking out the old cool weather crops and whatever weeds have grown in that area in that bed and hopefully I'm going to be planting some more warm weather crops there. Okay, so we'll get started now. I'm just going to take and dump a layer here. Make that a little bit bigger because I'm gonna spread it out some. I want to show you really quick what this looks like. So there is some chicken manure in there and then just where they have been beating stuff up, the grass. And then this has, this grass also has a little bit of leaves in it from where my tree in the front, it's a pin oak. The pin oak leaves have been falling off. Uh, not necessarily, I think maybe there's just too many leaves on that tree. So there is some leaves in with this grass. get a pair of scissors. I also need to get my water hose so I can water this or a watering can. Okay so I got two watering cans and filled them with water and then I got my scissors so I could cut these toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls up so that they break down quicker. The water is going to help them break down the temperature of the compost pile is going to help them break down and the microorganisms okay I'll just go ahead and spread all of those off onto the pile and we don't want to make much so just enough to wet it a little bit and we'll start doing another layer. Plastic is from some cardboard that I had, and I didn't pull all the plastic off of it. 
somehow it got in the chicken coop. There's also some cabbage in there where I had made some slaw. An apple. Looks like there is some cantaloupe seeds also. So, yeah, I've got that. Pour some more water. Posts that come out of the chicken coop. So you want to make it like a volcano and it's going to take me a couple weeks actually probably a little bit longer than that uh, probably like four weeks to get to my height of that one which that one has been broken down so it's actually shrunk so So this from the lawnmower bag has, like I said, leaves and grass. So it's a mixture of greens and browns. So you want to try to stay consistent because you need the greens and the browns and then you need the water. And that's going to help it to heat up. along with the oxygen so I will turn this like every three days you hear different time frames as far as like turning it and there may be times that I don't turn it every three days just because you know uh, just life you know doing other things but I'll try my best to do an update as I'm turning it And to add more. So as I turn it, I will add more. And I usually cut my grass at least once a week. And I have a riding lawnmower, so I'm just going around the outskirts of uh, my gardens and my house. To um, do with the push mower, so. But that's a good start. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer. So if I had to tell you about how how high that is, that's at least about two to two foot high and then this pile here like I said I've been working on it for like three months thereabout and it was a lot taller but each time you know I added something to it and I turned it it would compact down so I would say it's at least three 
it's at least three foot high and probably uh, a good five foot in diameter where this one is about two foot high and probably three foot in diameter so I know it's a little hard for you to tell on camera but if I come down this way maybe you can see a little bit more so anyway a compost pile can be started as long as you have some browns some greens and some water and you turn it for it to get oxygen and I usually take that tarp there along with the bricks I'll lay the tarp over it and I'll put the bricks around it so that nothing comes and gets in it uh, because of the kitchen waste but um, that's your ingredients the browns can be leaves, the greens can be grass, and then I've got the chicken manure on there uh, that's going to help with the nitrogen to help it break down, and this will be used on my garden, I would say, by fall. That one up there that has already been broken down will go on a bed. It's the, it's the bed in the middle up there. You can't really see it from here. But I'm planning on putting some paste tomatoes in there. So I just got to get the brassicas cleared out and get the weeding done. And then that compost pile to your right will go on that bed. I thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, smash that like button. And if you would subscribe, that would let me know that my content is worth watching. And I will continue to make videos. I also make these videos as a journal of my own so that I can go back and watch them. This year I actually went back and watched every video that I've made. I can tell that my gardens are getting better. My soil is better just from bringing in some compost and me composting my material from my own house, my own yard. So again, I thank you for watching and as always, may your garden be blessed and your harvest be bountiful.